I think if I hear you call me Becky one more time, six pack, I'm gonna pop your tops. All six of them. Who are you? heroes you'll ever meet. The Fat Boys in Disorderlies. Is the world's noblest profession going to the dogs? These can't possibly be more than this. Get up! No! The Fat Boys will fracture you. In Disorderlies. Rated PG. Opens August 14th. Check newspapers for a theater near you. Hey, this is Matt once again. What about to another review? There's another Patreon review, this time for Maxwell T. And it's for the film Disorderlies from 1987. Now, if anyone ever interested in requesting pretty much any type of video, movie topic, review, whatever, you do, do so either request it directly via my PayPal, send it to my PayPal, or join me on my Patreon. Both links are down below in the info box. If not, no worries. But if so, thank you so much. Now this film I had heard of for a while and Disorderlies is pretty much the Fat Boys which is a rap group from back in the day. I remember them the most from the music video they did for Nightmare on Elm Street Part 4 The Dream Master. Like Are You Ready for Freddy? Which the Fat Boys and Robert England were in the music video. And I guess they were in this film called Crush Groove, which I haven't seen, but I've heard of. And I guess they thought, hey, these three guys, let's take an ode from Three Stooges. And, you know, there's plenty of Three Stooges shorts where they were doctors. So have these guys be orderlies and make a Three Stooges type of film with crazy sound effects and be a silly, goofy comedy where... They are hired by this nephew to take care of this old rich guy played by Ralph Bellamy, who I remember from Eddie Murphy's Trading Places, among others. And of course, they're screwing up, but then them and Ralph Bellamy get along with each other and they inadvertently start helping Ralph Bellamy a lot, making him healthier, thus screwing up the nephew's plans who hired these guys because he wanted the uncle to die in order to get his money going hey these guys will screw up and the guy will die but instead they do the opposite and help the rich Ralph Bellamy very much some of the villains one of them is the supermarket killer from Cobra which I recognize that actor and it's not a good movie I mean you got some crazy goofy sound effects and because they're the fat boys, a lot of jokes about eating and being fat and food. Like the three will dive head first to a cake. One almost has an orgasm eating the cake. At least that's what it looks like. And in crazy sound effects, boing, boom, bomb, boing, boom. Sometimes in the soundtrack you hear beatboxing that almost sounds like farting. 
But then I realized, oh no, it's beatboxing. You know, that type of thing. And Ralph Bellamy, when he gets more friendly with them, saying lines like, step off, homeboy. Domino's and Coca-Cola make a, an appearance. Because this one guy wants to eat this stuff to impress his girl, but instead the other guys have this Domino's pizza and Coca-Cola. This is not a good movie, but I didn't hate it. Because at the end of the day, the fat boys are not actors. And they're not performers on a comedy sense. But they do have a little bit of a likable, I don't want to say charm, but a likability where they seem to act off well with, from, with each other. And, you know, they're playful with each other, they slap each other, and part of me wonders what would have happened if you had these three and the little energy they have with each other, like they really are, at least at this point in their lives, friends with each other. If it was a little bit more of a PG-13 or even R-rated without the screwy sound effects... How they would they have played off each other even better? Would that have come off even better or funnier? As is, I mean, I'm a sucker for Three Stooges. I love the Three Stooges. Granted, the Three Stooges are much better performers and actors compared to these guys. Because the Three Stooges, yeah, they had great slapstick, but also timing and the verbiage, some of the funny stuff they said. That's if the Three Stooges wasn't funny just because of the diet just because of slapstick, but a lot of their dialogue is pretty damn funny too, that Mo, Larry, and Curly, or Mo, Larry, and Shimp said to each other. But yeah, as a watch, it's a short enough film, it's 80 some minutes. Y you do get that Three Stooges, hell, one of the trailers even features the Three Stooges, and that the whole plan was that, if you love the Three Stooges, you'll love the Fat Boys. So that was what they were looking for. In fact, if I find the trailer, I'll put it somewhere here. And the three, the three were likable enough that it made me keep watching. That's really the best way to put it. That it's silly, it's goofy, it's fairly lighthearted. You know, they see Ralph Bellamy and they go, it looks like Yoda. <laughs> Start chuckle on me. Or they see the plate, oh, thousand dollars a plate. It's one of those lunches. So they think it's the actual plate, so they start stealing the plates. Or they go to a roller skating place, like a hip roller skating place, and they keep Ralph Bellamy. And Ralph Bellamy looks at a girl's boobies and goes, ooh. And you hear a boing. I'm like, is the boing the girl's titties or his dick? I don't know. And you have jokes like they're down on the horse and one guy the fat boy's like the horse and the horse just lay down because he does what the fat guy riding him. Or they're exercising and Ralph Bellamy, the old guy's doing well, but the fat boys are trying. The movie kind of stops for them to make a music video because there's a video camera and they do like a two, three minutes on. They're not bad singers. They're not bad rappers. So that, that scene was fine. And it does pertain to the plot because they left the video camera on, which the bad guy accidentally puts his confession on. I thought it was a bit weird that it's about the three fat But a good chunk of the finale is only two of them. Because one of them is with Ralph Bellamy and they're captured. So a good chunk of the finale is two of the fat boys that get out of a cop car, they're chased, they're chasing people around the house, goofy shenanigans, stop a fuse, do a cannonball in the pool to stop the fuse. Uh, I, it's, 
It's goofy, it's silly, it's lighthearted. It's fun enough to see in these times of being depressed anytime you turn on the news. If you just want a goofy, silly time, if you if you like stuff like the Three Stooges, you do a lot worse. Again, you don't go in this for the plot, don't go in it for the story. You have silly, goofy, sometimes annoying sound effects. It's not high art, that's supposed to be high art. I can't say I laughed a lot during this. But the three fat boys, they have enough likability, maybe a teeny bit of charm. That I think that's why a lot of people who do talk about this film talk about it a little bit more of a positive spin than you think they would. Because of their music and because of them as they seem like decent guys. But again, they're not actors. They're not comedy performers. That's why it's, I don't think it's as strong as it could be because of that. And I don't even think you need the goofy sound effects. Yeah, maybe you're trying to be like the Three Stooges, but in this is, I don't, I think that the goofy sound effects, I think, detracted more than added to the comedy. And again, there's nothing great about it. Or, or that good it's just sometimes you just want a silly fun time with all this shit going on and you watch it it's harmless I think that's what I'm looking for it's harmless it's a harmless movie that you watch you go eh. I'm trying to see who directed this came out 1987 Oh, Michael Schultz, who directed Crush Groove, which also had the Fat Boys. Michael Schultz also did. Want to make sure real quick. Yeah, he did Bustin' Loose to the Last Dragon. Which are better than this. <laughs> I reviewed The Last Dragon. Bustin' Loose is very funny. See, that's the difference. Like, Bustin' Loose... Well, it says, Ah, Scott, and then Michael Schultz, uncredited. That's what it says here. Maybe one got fired, I don't know. He did a lot of Richard Pryor films. Grease Lightning, Which Way Is Up. I forgot this guy did The Last Dragon. But... Uh, silly, goofy times... Yeah, there are moments you go like, a lot of those moments, it's not a great comedy, but I guess if you're really, really into the Three Stooges, you want to see what the fat boys can do, and you don't mind a silly, goofy, stupid movie, you do a lot worse. I mean, the fat boys, they do seem like they're friends with each other, and they're off the cuff little remarks. I just see maybe a director, but I don't think they can be stars. I think that's what this kind of showcases. They have a likability to them, but they probably do work better in a background character variety, not as stars. Maybe that's what this kind of showcases too. Like they may try to be the three students, but they're no three students. But this is still a lot better than the fucking Fairly Brothers Three Stooges movie. I'll say that. Does these three, I mean, even the movie itself didn't have as many shitty jokes as that Fairly Brothers Three Stooges movie. It didn't have a scene where they picked up babies and having a fucking piss fight with babies. Like that piece of shit. So I'd rather watch Disorderlies than that piece of shit. But, so this is a better Three Stooges movie than that Three Stooges movie. With that said, it is what it is. It's, it was okay, silly, but I would never watch it again. That's pretty much it. So thanks for watching. We'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.